Hey everyone, it's Miss Alana here, working on math, getting smarter and smarter every day, just like you. In this video, we are going to practice, practice for what's coming up, the Georgia Milestones. It is coming up super, super soon, so we are gonna do a lot of practice, extra, more intensive practice, so that you all can be prepared. So what I need for you to do um, is get your graphing notebook get your graphing notebook because i want you to write these practice problems down while you're doing that shout out to the georgia bulldogs ah, go georgia bulldogs shout out to uh the whole school and the team and everybody out there all my former alumni that means students that used to go there and then now they graduated shout out to you all as well and to a all the fans, all the fans. All right, are you ready? Do you have your notebook? All right, get that and get your pencil. Um, I'm gonna use my pen. All right, are we ready? All right, so the topic of today's Georgia Milestone Test Prep Practice is equivalent fractions. Now, before we get started, who can tell me what are equivalent fractions? Fractions that are equal to each other, okay? So we've been practicing that online, on paper, all, all kinds of practice, but here's some more practice, okay? So I'm gonna give you two questions right there. Uh, you know what I'll do is I'll hold it up, write it down in your notebook and then work it out, write it down in your notebook and then work it out and I'll help you with it as well, okay? All right, so two questions in this video. The first question right there. All right, is which fraction is not equivalent to four fifths? I have A, eight tenths, B, 20 twenty fifths, C, 12 thirtieths, D, 16 twentieths. All right, so write that down. Uh, uh. All right, right there. Okay, and the second question for today, which number sentence is true? A, one fourth equals five eighths, B, six sevenths equals 12 twenty eighths, C, two thirds equals 10 thirtieths, or D, nine fifteenths equals three fifths. Okay, so write that down, or you could write them, write, solve, and then write the other one. Okay, all right, so for the first one, let's look at that one. It says, which fraction is not equivalent to four fifths? You need to find some keywords. What are some keywords that you see right here? All right, so fraction is a keyword, and actually, you know what? Let me let me go get a highlighter. Okay, get a highlighter if you have one. Let me go get a highlighter. All right, so go ahead and highlight your keywords. And what keywords do you see? Now, in the milestone, obviously, you can't highlight the screen because you're probably going to take the test online. But there are highlighter tools, I believe, in the test. Maybe you can use that. Um, yeah, some type of tool or maybe write it down on your scrap paper and underline it there, okay? So I'm going to highlight the word fraction. What is a fraction? It's a part of a whole. What other keywords do you see? Yeah. Equivalent. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mark four-fifths as well since that's the fraction that we're looking at. Now, there's another keyword. What's the keyword? Not, where is it? Right, right there, not. Okay, so that is an important keyword because guess what? If you don't see that three letter word, you can get the answer completely wrong. Even if you know how to do it, you might get it wrong because you didn't pay attention to that word not, okay? So are we looking for the answer that is equal to? No, we're looking for the one that is not equal to, okay? Now, how do we figure that out? All right, so you should have your fraction strips, the fraction bars in the baggie. Raise your hand if you have it. All right, I'm gonna need for you to find that and bring it to school so you can use that as a tool. And there's another way, what can we do? We can either multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator by what? The same factor, okay? So look at A, 8 tenths. How can we tell if 4 fifths is equal to 8 tenths? We can, you know what, we could do it like this. We'll put them side to side. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna do it like right here. Hmm. Actually, you know what, I just thought of an idea. Just thought of an idea. We're gonna do this. All 
Okay, I'm just making a little box on my paper for like the workspace. Okay. Okay, right, right there. All right, I'm just going to do my work in there. So I'm going to write eight tenths. Okay, always do what? Show your work. All right, so I'm going to look at A. Okay, so here's my example right here. So I wrote A, 8 tenths, which is right there, equals 4 fifths. So I need to think, to go from 8 to 4, am I multiplying or dividing? So if I'm going from here to here, I am dividing. Now, if I'm going backwards from 4 to 8, I'm going to multiply. So what am I dividing 8 by? Dividing it by what? Dividing it by, by 2. And what about 10? Divided by 2. So look, 8 divided by 2 is what? 4. 10 divided by 2 is what? 5. Does it work out? Yes. So that means 8 tenths and 4 fifths is what? They are equivalent. So is that our answer? No, that is not our answer because what? Right here, what? it says not equivalent. All right, so we're looking for the one that's not. Now, I'm not going to do... You need to do that, so go ahead and do B, do C, and do D, and you know what? Do I just need to do it? All right, fine. All right, let, let's go ahead and do B. B, what does B say? 20 over 25 and four fifths. I might just go ahead and split up this video. All right, so there's 20, 20 fifths and four fifths. Are they equal, are they equivalent? I don't know. All right, so we need to think about, am I multiplying or dividing to go from here to here? We're dividing because it goes from a bigger number to a smaller number. So to go from 20 to 4, what am I dividing by? I'm dividing, you need to know your times table, divided by 5. And how about 25? 25 divided by 5 also. So are they equivalent? Yes. Is that the answer? No, because we're looking for the one that's not equivalent. So actually, I'm going to put like little X's. And I'm going to put like little X's right there. All right, C. 12 thirtieths. Is it equivalent to 4 fifths? All right, so do the same strategy. To go from 12 to 4, am I multiplying or dividing? I am dividing by what? By three. So make sure you practice your times tables. You need to know all your facts to make this easier. How about 30? 30 divided by what equals five? Divided by, by six, by six, okay? So 30 divided by six is five. Now, are they equivalent? No, they are not. How can you tell? Because look right here, I'm dividing by three, three and six. It has to be the same factor, the same number. I have to multiply or divide by the same number. So that, not equivalent. So that is our correct answer. Now, to double check, I'm going to go ahead and do D. So go ahead and do D while I'm writing something down. All right. That was 16 over 20. Is it equivalent to 4 fifths? All right, so I just wrote right there, not equivalent. All right, to go from 16 to 4, what do I do? Divided by 4. What about 20 from 20 to 5? Divided by 4. Are they equivalent? Yes, they are. So is that our answer? No, it is not. And let me write that down, equivalent. I'll write it for the other ones too. Okay, bam, right there.
All right, so we are done with that first question for the day. I am gonna go ahead and just do another video and do this one at the bottom. So find that other video and get it done. Don't forget, do your online practice today. Study Island if you haven't, Moby Max, Fact Fluency and Math and Study Ladder. Get that done. Go and find all the videos about fractions in our fractions playlist in our YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, hit hit the subscribe button below, hit the like, thumbs up. And as a matter of fact, if you know the answer and you would like to explain it, go ahead and type it in the comments below. All right, I love you. I'll see you next time. Mwah.